Hey everyone, so I have long maintained that Donald Trump speaks like someone who is writing an essay who doesn't really know what they're writing about. They, they, they like don't know anything about the topic. Like I'm sure we've all been there before. Like, you know, you're in high school, you're writing an essay, maybe you didn't study, you didn't do the reading, you didn't do it. And so you just kind of, you know, you, you know, there's a certain, you got to write two pages. And so you're just using a bunch of words that you know are like key words of the subject. And you like use a bunch of like flowery, long sentences. And you just, you know, you'll insert words where you're not exactly sure if they should go there, but you know that they go with the topic. And so that is how Donald Trump speaks. And so I'll be the first to admit, I actually don't know all the specifics regarding Obamagate because I really don't think it's going to turn into anything tangible whatsoever. Um, but it's all over the news right now. And Donald Trump is one of the people peddling Obamagate. And so I wanted to show you guys Donald Trump's response to being asked about what exactly Obama did in Obamagate. So, so let's, let's just take a look at it. Whoops. Mr. President, in one of your Mother's Day tweets, you appear to accuse President Obama of the biggest political crime in American history by yeah. far. Those were your words. What crime exactly are you accusing President Obama of committing, and do you believe the Justice Department should prosecute him? Uh, Obamagate. It's been going on for a long time. It's been going on from before I even got elected, and it's a disgrace that it happened. And if you look at what's gone on, and if you look at now all of this information that's being released, and from what I understand, that's only the beginning. Uh, some terrible things happened, and it should never be allowed to happen in our country again. And you'll be seeing what's going on over the next, over the coming weeks. But I, and I wish you'd write honestly about it. But unfortunately, you choose not to do so. Yeah, John, please. Crime. What is the crime exactly that uh, you're accusing him of? You know what the crime is. The crime is very obvious to everybody. All you have to do is read the newspapers, except yours. Oh my gosh, that was one of the funniest things ever. Because like. I don't know what the heck that was. It was like he didn't know what, he like really didn't even know like the premise of what like they're accusing Obama of doing. He was like, they did some terrible things, things that should never be done again. Arguably the worst things that anybody has ever done. Terrible, terrible things. And they're like, what, what, what were those things? Oh, you know, you'll be reading about it. You guys won't write about it, honestly. You know, people, but people should read about it in every paper except for yours. Like he just, I love, he just like inserts like insulting in there and just like, but he, like, just genuinely just doesn't know what he's talking about right there. Like, I really, I, I don't know what the heck that was. Like, he didn't even give a summary of what Obamagate was. He didn't even give, like, a brief summary. And so, and so you know, I, like I said, I honestly don't know that much about it. I know that it has to do with um, Michael Flynn and, like, that people, like, that, like, Obama knew about that Michael Flynn was going to get arrested and, like, that he knew about it ahead of time. And that has to do with, like, spying on Donald Trump. And just, like, I, I really, I, you know, I hate to speak on it because I really haven't taken any time to learn about, like, literally everything I know about it is from peripheral, just seeing about it because, like, so many people are talking about it. Um, and it just reminds me so much of the impeachment of Donald Trump. Just because, I mean, that is, like, just going through Twitter or just looking at the news, everything was about impeachment. And I remember every single day that they were doing the impeachment hearings in the House, there'd be people tweeting about, like, oh, this, like ambassador to this country like they're gonna testify today and this is what's gonna bring trump down like this is it we're gonna do it today with this ambassador and there'd be like this this one person and like everyone was talking about like oh this person just owned donald trump and like all this nonsense that led to absolutely nothing i predicted before the impeachment that donald trump, the house would vote to impeach him and that the Senate would vote to acquit him. I, before any hearings or before anything, before they had even come up with the charges, when they were just talking about impeachment, I knew that the House was going to say impeach, Senate was going to say acquit. It was obvious. They, they just didn't have the votes in the Senate. They did have the votes in the House. People vote down party lines. That's just how our politics works right now. And so like, there was no point in any of this, Like, what was going on around impeachment. This feels an awful lot like that. Like, nothing's going to happen. Do you, do, 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 does Donald Trump really think that he has, like, enough people in his administration? Like, he, I'm sure that whatever would happen would require, like, some sort of support from, like, the House. Um, they, they just doesn't, they, they just don't have, like, the evidence, the support to get something actually done. Like, what do people think? Like, Obama's going to end up in jail? Like, is that really, is, is that, and just think of, like, how that would look. Like, this was, this was the thing with, like, Hillary Clinton when he was saying all that, like, lock her up and everything. Like, hey, I think Hillary Clinton's a war criminal. Um, but, like, it, it's it's kind of a bad look when you start, like, locking up, like, your opponents or, like, your form, or your predecessor in jail. Like, that that's, a, that's, that's not the best look. Um, 
And so I, I really just don't think that, like, this is going to amount to anything. And, and do I think that Obama's corrupt? Yeah. I don't know if he did this specifically. I think that he's corrupt in a variety of other ways, and I think that he's also, you know, a war criminal. Um, but, like, I don't think that anything's going to happen because of it, which is, like, you know, it's unfortunate. I wish that people pay, face consequences for their corruption. Um, like I said, I don't know enough specifically about Obamagate to say whether or not I think he's guilty or not. Um Sounds like he might have done something. I don't. I don't know. Like people are. It sounds like he might have done something. It's just a question of the legality of it. Is is what I've kind of ascertained. Um, but I'm just. I'm warning you guys now. Don't get sucked into this because nothing is going to come from it. It's like so many people. I just. I felt so bad every day during impeachment. Like people would talk about it. And they were watching all the hearings. And they, like in my classes, people were like, "Oh, I was able to watch like an hour of the hearings today." And I'm like, "That's an hour you're never gonna get back." Like people were just wasting their time learning about this. Like people and evidence and stuff that wasn't going to happen and then also i mean huge parallels to russiagate i mean russiagate didn't mean anything russiagate ended up being nothing absolutely nothing like impeachment at least i mean i guess donald trump is technically impeached so i mean i mean i guess that's like something kind of tangible even though effectively it doesn't mean anything with russiagate i mean that literally amounted to nothing zero zero things came of Russiagate and that was just that was the story for the first year of Trump's presidency was Russiagate that was the entire story um and it was just so frustrating because like Democrats just don't know how to oppose and that's the thing is they can't oppose Donald Trump on like real things like real elements of corruption because they are also guilty of it like that, that's the thing is they can't like accuse him of like the actual elements where he's like really corrupt because they are also guilty of that corruption and so, because, yeah, you know, I also, I do think that Donald Trump is massively corrupt. I just don't think that, like, this, like, weird game that they play of, like, these weird super niche things that, like, end up not amounting to anything. It's all just for show. It's a smoke and mirrors sort of thing. Um, and so these are just people making a show. I, I really think that part of this is to deflect from just the way that this administration has handled the coronavirus. Um, and so I, I, you know... This is this video mostly is just to serve as a warning. Just don't get sucked into Obamagate. Just because I, I I'm saying it's not going to amount to anything. Um, just you know, if if you find it interesting, I guess you know, learn about it, read about it. But I think tangibly, there's not going to be anything to actually take away from all of this talk, all of this rhetoric that you're going to hear around it. Um, anyway, if you guys disagree with me, if you think Obama Gates the next greatest scandal, um, if you think Obama, you know, his days are numbered, um, you know, please leave a comment down below. If you think I'm like underselling like what's going on, or if you agree, you know, also leave a comment down below. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and 